today we will start our new topic a new chapter understanding elementary shapes to understand about the elementary shape we should know about all the fundamental geometrical structure geometrical structure that we have discussed in our previous chapter that is the basic concept of without the basic concept of geometry we cannot understand the form this chapter so we should know about the basic concept of geometry because here when we discuss about uh, uh, length of line segment then first we should know about the line segment without information about the line segment how we can how it will be possible to know about the length of the line segment so we should know about the concept of the line segment that means to understand complete this chapter we should know complete basic concept of geometry so today we shall start our chapter number 5 that is understanding elementary shape for this let us revise some fundamental topic from basic concept of geometry which will be useful to understand about this topic so the first was in the basic concept of geometry the first topic was line segment Line segment. What is the line segment? We say that to the shortest distance between the two points, the shortest distance between two points is known as line segment. As we know that if two points are given, if two points are given, then it can be drawn in any manner. It can also be drawn like that. Or you can also join this by a line segment, or you can also join this by a. But here we cannot find the shortest distance. So, what should be the what will be the shortest distance? If we join this point to a straight path, if we join these two points to a straight path, then the distance between them will smallest. So we say that the smallest distance. is known as a line segment now here we will discuss about the length of the line segment the length of the line segment when we say that the uh, line segment is how much length is or what is the length of the line segment it means what is the measure of the line segment for this let us start to know about the line segment i hope that the definition of line segment is right to you so let's see the length of the line segment okay so let us start length of line segment the length of line segment so the length of line segment for this if we have this line segment suppose that this is the line segment A, B. Then we have to find out how much it is. That means we have to find out the distance between the two points. Here, in order to find out the length of this line segment, we have to find out the distance between the two points. We have to find the distance between these two points. That is the distance between the point A B. So we say that the distance between the distance between the end points of a line segment of the line segment okay this is the definition of the length of the line segment the distance between the in point of the line segment the distance between the in point of the line segment is known as the length of the line okay so i have the definition of the length of line segment is clear and we 
just suppose that the distance between the two points is 5.4 cm. The distance between the two points A and B is 5.4 meters. Then we say that the length of the line segment AB is 5.4 meters, and we have the length of the line segment AB is 5.4 meters. And here we also represent that is 5.4. This way, this represents that the length of the line segment. Now let us see how we decide or how we justify two lines are said to be congruent. Here, the one most important thing in the length of line segment is that two lines, when two lines are said to be congruent, what is the meaning of the congruent? So first of all. Let us understand the meaning of the congruent. Just suppose that this is your right, this is your right palm, and if we place our left palm in front of this, then our left hand, our left palm, completely occupies the palm of the right hand. That means left hand is the congruent to the Right hand side, because the right hand is completely occupied with the left hand. That is why they are known as the congruent. In the sense of line segment, we say that two lines are said to be congruent if they have the same length. They have the same length means their length are equal or they are of equal length. Then such type of two lines are known as the congruent. Just suppose that a line segment AB is here. This is the line segment AB, and suppose that the length of the line segment AB is five centimeters, and there is also another line that is the CD. There is also another line segment CD which have also the length is five centimeters. Then, if we place, if we place the line segment CD. To the line segment AB, then the line segment C will completely cover or completely occupy the line segment AB. Then we say that the line segment C is congruent to the line segment of AB, and it is written as the line segment AB is congruent to line segment of C. This sign is known as the congruency. The sign. The circle is known as the congruency, and the relation between them is the congruency relation, which represents that both lines are half identical. That is why the line segment C D completely occupies the line segment A B. Okay, so I hope it is clear to you. Now let us see comparison of the line segment. Means how we shall compare that the line is smaller than or greater than the other. For this, let us start. There are some methods, some important methods which are used to compare the to comparison of lines. So let us see our next topic. What is the comparison of the line segment? Then we can compare the line segment 
from the right here, 4 cm. And when we measure the length of the uh, line segment CD, then we get the length of the line segment CD 5 cm, which shows that the line segment CD is greater than the line segment AB. I hope it is clear this method is the unilateral method for the comparison of line segment. And the third one is okay. The third method for comparison of the line segment is that using divider. A divider can also be used for the comparison of two line segment, say line segment AB and line segment CD. There are two line segments AB and CD. This is the line segment AB. Now put the one pointer of the divider at the one end of the line segment AB that is put the pointer at the pin point A and now open the divider in such a manner that the other pointer each coincide with the end point B and hold in the same position and place the divider on the line segment CD put the one pointer at the point C and second pointer on the other end then in this case when we put the divider on the line segment CD we get three conditions there are three conditions Okay, so now let us see which are the three conditions. First of all, understand this again. How we use the divider to measure the length of the line. For this, first of all, we put the one end at the point A and then open the divider and put the other pointer at the point B and hold in the same position put the one pointer at the point C and mark at the point D and mark the point B where the second pointer other pointer far then we can measure the length of the both line segment and then we can justify which one is greater sorry longer and which one is smaller so in this case when we put the divider on the other line then there are three cases arises the first case is the first case is If the end far at exactly at the point P, that means when we place the divider from here to this line segment, and if the second pointer is half exactly at the point D, then then the line segment AB is equal to the line segment CD. The second, if the in fall between C and B, then then the line segment AB is less than line segment of CD. And the third is if the end 
fall beyond the point beyond D then AB is greater than the line segment CD here you can also see by the figure there I draw here I draw a line segment AB this is the line segment AB and this is a divider like this this is the divider similarly this is the line segment C D In these three figures, we can see that here first we measure the length of the line segment AB by using the divider like this. Now, without changing the distance in the in the divider, we place in this manner on the line segment CD. Then we get such this. In this case, we get that the other end fall between the lines between the point C and D. That means the length of the line segment AB is less than is greater than is less than the line length of line segment CD. And in the third case, we see that the other end of the divider is far beyond the point D which means the length of the line segment AB is greater than the line segment of the length C. I hope all these comparison is clear. So if you have any doubt then you can Mention your doubt in the comment. Thank you very much for watching this video.